Hey, I'm Jocelyn and this is Sandra and today's drink is something a little bit funky that you're not gonna find at just any old bar. This is a milk punch and I have been waiting for this for a minute. Uh, I absolutely think this is a really cool drink and actually most of this stuff you probably already have in your house. The only funky thing in it is that we use a whole nutmeg. Actually, we don't use the whole nutmeg. We're gonna, that would be a little bit too much, but we are gonna grate um, a whole nutmeg. If you only have nutmeg that's already ground, you can do it. It's just, um, when you do it yourself, it's just gonna take it up a little bit. So feel free to substitute in a pinch of just the, the ground. Yeah, ground, right. Plus. Absolutely. But you're gonna get a lot more aroma, a lot more flavor out of the whole Out grain. of the, it, don't, and when do you it see yourself. how easy it is, you're gonna wanna do it anyway. Right. So what we're gonna do is start with our um, shaker, which has been preloaded with ice. How did that how happen? Did that happen? <laughs> it's like the cocktail elves came at the night. Me, I'm the cocktail elf. All right, so it's called a milk punch. We're gonna use half and half because we don't play, right? <laughs> um, uh, whole milk works. Um, Cream would work, although cream would be really, really, really decadent. It, um, it, this already has about one trillion calories. I'm just gonna tell you. <laughs> so, um, but I wouldn't use skim milk. If right? you if you don't want to use half and half, you can use whole milk. It'll save you yeah. some calories. It'll cost you some taste, um, but you can do it. And this this is not your everyday drink this is something you're going to want to make for a celebratory occasion your every now and then and you're not going to drink a pile of them i mean hopefully <laughs> you maybe you are because they taste really good so you're doing four ounces of half and half four right? ounces of half and half and um, can i say this that if you don't have half and half at home but you happen to be a whole milk family like we are um whole milk and skim milk together makes half and half no whole no milk in Cream and, and cream, cream and skin milk makes half and half. Good skin milk golly. has no business in half and half. Whole milk and no. cream make half and half. All right, I disagree. You can be wrong if you want to. I can't. I'm going to be wrong. So I'm putting two ounces of bourbon. Four ounces of half and half. Forget trying to make your own because she's mad at me. <laughs> Two Never ounces of, of bourbon. Ever. One ounce of simple of syrup. Simple. This might be the only drink that Sandra really loves that has a pile of sugar in it, right? Um, that's a, it's a lot of for sugar. For you, that's a and lot. And it's also a lot of cream. I mean, so far we've got six yeah. ounces of liquid in this drink, so it's a pretty it's a lot. large, healthy drink anyway. Um, and then I'm gonna put, I don't know why I keep saying that, I'm down like I don't need anymore. Uh, we're just gonna put a vanilla. teaspoon of vanilla. And so I go heavy on vanilla, but that's because I think vanilla is like one of my favorite flavors. And so I would probably put a little extra. I mean, I'm not going to disagree. Can I tell you a little story about the nutmeg? I actually sent Mark out for nutmeg the other day and um, I was like, just get a whole nutmeg. He came home with two bags of nutmegs and, and each bag had like four or five nuts in it. I was like... So now we have nutmeg for like the rest of our lives. There's there's no way I'm gonna use that many nuts ever. Might. Maybe. You could. <laughs> you can give them a gazillion of these things, right? I'm gonna give them as gifts. I'm gonna <laughs> um, so for this. Christmas this year, just y'all look forward to getting nutmegs. Straining this up or neat or without ice yes. or sans ice or sans glace depending on so pretty she's been taking french classes can you tell you can't tell <laughs> it is such a lovely it's oh, kind i of can smelly. smell it already i know it's nice this drink is particularly affiliated associated with new orleans uh, i love the commander's palace in my opinion is the end for uh, a really good meal punch but you can get them all over Quit the city give me the drink Simmer down. I might not even let you try this one because I love them that much. Go ahead. I know this is one of her absolute favorites. Is it better than the French 75? It's just so good. This is celebratory. It is 
this, you always use the word luxurious, but I think that this is really a luxurious drink and you should totally try one of these. So um, for more recipes like this, see us next Friday. We will have another drink for you. Until then, have a milk punch. Cheers. Bye.